Hi, and welcome to this introduction of two control field security for Dynamics NAV. This module is part of our software range to support the complete cycle of authorization management from design to quality control. In this video, we will show you the refine step in the cycle. Using the add-on field security, you can not only define your authorization at table level, but you can refine it to specific fields or subsets of your data. This will improve the quality of the authorizations and internal control. Let's get started. First we'll look at an example how you can use field security. I'm a purchaser in my company and for practical reason I'm allowed to change the vendor related fields on the item card. However, I'm not allowed to change other fields on the item card, like the price or posting groups. When I try to do so, I will get an error generated by the field security add-on. This way, the integrity of the data is assured and possible fraud is prevented. Furthermore, I'm only allowed to change the vendor fields on items with the item category chair. Other items are handled by my colleagues. If I try to change a table, for example, I will get a clear error. For this authorization, I configured a dataset security. We will now take a look how these field and dataset securities are configured, because that is the nice part of this two control add-on. It is all done with configuration. No additional program code is needed. A field security can be defined on any table. In our example, we use table 27, item. It does not matter whether this is a standard NAV table or a table that is part of an add-on or customization. Next, we define a permission set that is the data owner of this table. The person with this permission set will not be affected by the field security. In the lines of the field security, I define the fields of the item card that should be editable or not editable. I can simply reverse the logic by checking this boolean in the header. Finally, I assign the permission sets which will be affected by this field security. With the copy function, I can simply copy the permission sets from the first line to all the other lines. Notice that different fields can have different permission sets. For example, I want the purchase manager to be able to change the unit cost as well. Using field security this way, you can assign the management of master data to different employees in your company. But you can also, for example, prevent unauthorized price changes on order entry. The possibilities are endless. Now let's take a look at dataset security. Remember how I was able to change chairs, but not tables. How is this done? Configuring dataset security is similar to configuring field security. Again, I choose a table and data owner. Don't forget the starting date, otherwise the security will not work. In the lines, I define the filter when the record should be editable. In this case, the item is editable when the item category code is chair, but I could have selected virtually any other field of this table. Using filter field 2, I can define more complex filters. Just like at field security, I define the permission sets for which this security is applicable. I can also define when this data security should be checked, on insert or delete, or when the record is being modified. That concludes this short introduction of two control field security. I just showed you what this module can do for you. Refine the authorization in Dynamics NAV to field and datasets. Check out our website to see our other products which help you to be in control of the authorization cycle. Thank you for watching.